The critics recently attended the opening night of the Durban Gay and Lesbian Film Festival 2016 at the KZN SA uh, Gallery in Bulwer Road. And we watched one short film and one feature film. So the short film that we watched was entitled Dawn, about a, um, a transgender uh, woman who meets a blind man. At a bus stop. At a bus stop. Yeah. And they sort of just spend the night chatting on a bench together. I really enjoyed this one. I thought that the minimalist nature of the film really had an impact. And I liked the message as well. The lead character, the blind guy, he was so sweet. And um, the whole thing of not being able to see the, the person, the transgender person, just made it that more impactful. I, I really enjoyed it. And it left me with a good message. Matt, what did you yeah, think? I don't have too much more to add. I think uh, the minimalist nature of it drew you in, mm. and there were two interesting, very interesting characters yeah. that often just by their mystery uh, drew you in and drew you into their stories and made you interested in what they were talking about and interactions with each other. Um, and so I think, yeah, kudos to the actors who pulled off uh, those characters so well, and uh, to the scriptwriter. And the editor as well. Yeah. Um, the few glimpses of the transgender woman's life that we did get, well, of Dawn's life, yeah. were really hard hitting. Yeah. So, well done on that. We enjoyed no, that one. Very good film to start off the festival. The next one we watched was the first feature film entitled What's the Matter with Gerald? Uh, an American film. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I did not enjoy this one. It was very Woody Allen esque with the constant soundtrack, the random conversations, and uh, the strange quirky characters. <clears throat> I I don't like this type of film and I didn't enjoy it at all. I thought it was a bit contrived and also uh, Gerald was a bit of a housewife type of character to me. A bit I whiny. Think. Yeah, a bit whiny. I didn't feel like it had any, thing, any sort of important message for the LGBT community. It could have been, uh, you know, a heterosexual couple. It, it didn't matter. So, I don't know, I, this one fell a bit flat for me. Matt has some good thoughts, though. Yeah, so I think, just to add to the criticism, I think the, so the problem for me um, is that it never climaxed. Yeah. It always felt like it was built into one and then just kind of leveled out. You felt yeah. like maybe this was a build and it leveled out. So for me, that was the bigger problem than the Woody Allen, because I quite like Woody Allen on occasion. <laughs> um, but I do think that you will enjoy this film if you, because as much as Gerald can be a bit annoying, um, he was an interesting and intriguing character to he get was. to know, and the characters that he interacted with along the way, whilst potentially a bit too many, were interesting characters. Um, and I think there was a lot of slow, but character development. Very with slow. Him. It was very slow. In between weird, unnecessary conversations. But, that but if you like me. conversations, and if you like mm. films that centre around characters, uh, which I normally do, as I said, it was just a bit badly paced for me, um, then I think this is still a film that you that you will enjoy if you're looking for something that I do also agree with you. I didn't get the LGBTQI um, message as strongly as I have in other films that mm. I've watched. Um, but that being said, it's I think it's still good that you just that you have an LGBT or have a gay couple in a film that ordinarily wouldn't be a gay couple. Yeah, I mean, they sort of it was just normalized. You know? Yeah, and that's that's equally that, powerful. That's cool, yeah. Yeah, it's well. not as impactful. Mm, um, but yeah, uh, it's showing again on Friday, Friday the twenty sixth. Yeah, yeah, it's coming Friday. So go out and see it. Yeah, if you if you like strong character, if you like movies about characters and their development and their interactions with the world around them and seeing a different side to uh, life, I'd recommend it. Hollywood standard, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I'm Talia. I'm Matthew. And this has been our review of What's the Matter with Gerald for the Durban Gay and Lesbian Film Festival 2016. And Dawn. And Dawn. <laughs>